If you're stuck, manipulate the equations so you can find a like term in both equations, the same term in both equations. So then you can set one equation equal to the second equation. You can pause the video if you like. If we can alter the equations so that there is an identical term shared between the two equations, we can plug the KCL equation into the KVL equation. If we're solving for the current, we would plug, we would do this in reverse. We would plug the KVL equation into the KCL equation. To plug the KCL equation into the KVL equation, the like term we need is the second partial derivative of the current, one partial derivative with respect to time, and one with respect to space. This is because the KCL equation involves the spatial derivative of the current, while the KVL, that's the, this term, while the KVL equation involves a time derivative with respect to time. So we need both equations to have both partial derivatives. Taking the time derivative of the KCL equation, we would plug in the KCL equation here. And if we do that, we get the following. I'm going to call this equation 1. Then if we take the, sp the spatial derivative of the KVL equation, KVL, then we would get the following. I'm sorry, I'm running out of room. I'm going to call this equation 2. Now we can plug equation 1 into equation 2. And we wind up with just voltage terms. After canceling the two minus signs I got on the bottom of the previous slide, the following equation is obtained. It's a wave equation for the voltage. You can follow a similar procedure to obtain a current wave equation if you just plug uh, the other, do the reverse, plug the two equations, K, KCL, which was it? Let's go back. KVL equation into the KCL equation. So here I have the voltage wave equation and the current wave equation after we solve for both. Looking at these two equations, you can see the voltages and the currents both vary in time and in space. These are wave equations, meaning that we have voltage and current waves traveling down the transmission line. And you can see their form is very similar. Getting back to our design challenge, we want to first understand the normal operation of the wires going from the cockpit to the fuel cells. So far we've assumed the transmission line is straight for convenience, that it is, is straight along the z-axis. But as you can see here in this figure, you can imagine the wires are not straight everywhere in the pl airplane. What, we can, what can we do about this? Do we have to change our wave equation to be a function of x, y, and z instead of just z?